and welcome back to Small Soldier. In today's video, I'll go over a new set of magnifiers I just recently picked up, and I'll also be doing a comparison between a few different types. So if you can't see those tiny details anymore, listen to me very carefully. It might be time to get yourself some new goggles. So stay tuned, because it's all coming up right after this. Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Today I'll be reviewing and doing a comparison between a few different sets of magnifiers. Today's review will be on this particular item I just picked up recently. It's a little different type of uh, headband than what I'm normally used to and I have to say that I've been quite impressed with it so far. So let's take a look in the box and see what it came with. First off you get just a small instruction sheet with various ways you can use the glasses. And then of course it comes with a headband option. If you want to use a headband instead of the, the, this type of option here. And this is the unit. So these arms here, you just push the button here on the side and that releases. There it goes. It releases the earpiece. And then if you wanted to switch to the headband, it's just a matter of snapping that in like that and snapping it to the other side, which is kind of a nice option. Whoops, locks in there pretty good. So I do find if you're using the batteries, it gets a little heavy on your face. So I would probably switch to the band as opposed to these here. So let's pull out the magnifiers. So as you can see in the box, you get five different magnification level clips that go into this slot here and I just realized this the other day that this actually slides back and forth so you can move the glasses closer or further away which is kind of a nice option and then of course for the light you've got an LED light here which is quite bright I've tried it and that actually will move there too I don't know why I need to have it move but it does. And right back here, so I've done a clip it here, is where the batteries would go and it takes three AAA batteries. That's probably my only, the only downfall of this, which it really isn't a downfall. It makes it a little heavier with the three batteries in here. That gets a little heavier on your nose after a while, but like I said, if you put the headband on, that makes it a lot more comfortable and it's not quite a, as much of a strain. With my setup, I don't really need to use the light because the lights in my studio give enough light. The light in here is slightly a different color, so it kind of throws the colors off when I'm filming. Another option here is this nose piece, which actually you can see is movable to the shape of your nose or the size of your nose, which is kind of nice. Makes it a little more comfortable. And you can see the actual light mechanism here. You can move it out of the way, or you can point it down if you wanted to point it down and then that will actually move. So let's just put one of these in here and they just clip in just like that. So you can wear it like so, straight up, or you could move the light down to where you're working, move these back or move it forward, depending on where you wanted to uh, see things. So why don't we just take a look and see what the magnification through the lens actually looks like. So as you can see, I have the first magnification lens on, and I've got them in order here, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And what I'm going to do is try and make this as realistic as possible. So I'm putting the magnification lens right up against the lens of my camera, and I have a 35th scale figure here, and I'm going to show you the magnification levels. That seems in focus to me roughly there, so you're looking at about four inches away from the tabletop with that lens. So let's switch to the next, that's the second power lens, and I'll give you a description of what the actual lens magnifications are after we're done doing this test. So there is the second one. That looks about in focus there, and you're probably about eight inches from the tabletop there. Let's take a look at the third focal length. And there you go, that's probably 12 inches away from the tabletop. So that's a fairly comfortable 
for me that'd be a fairly comfortable level to work at because I can get a brush in and I can still see what's going on. And let's try the fourth one here. So they're really super easy to clip in and out. That's what I like about them too. There's no fumbling about and trying to move this and move that like you have on Optivisors. Now we're getting into focus about, let's say about there. And now we're about oh, 14, 15 inches away from the tabletop. You can see the details very good. You can see everything. All right, and the last magnification. And now we're, I'd say about four inches away from the camera lens. So if you really wanted to get an ultra close to paint some fine details, that's how close you can get with these. Which is pretty good. You, you don't want to get much closer because you can't fit the brush in to actually see what you're doing. All right, so that was the five lenses there. So the actual magnifications of the lenses are 1 times, 1.5 times, 2 times, 2.5 times, and 3.5 times. So that gives you quite a variety of different focal distances to work with. Again, uh, it's very sturdy construction, ABS plastic, I think. So it's if you dropped it, it wouldn't break. You know, it's made of plastic, but everything feels quite solid and well-made. Yeah, I think... For what you're paying for, you're getting a good deal in my opinion, compared to optivisors or a different type of lens that would cost you more. The next part I guess will be to take a look at a comparison with a couple different types of products I've used in the past. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so as you can see I've got three different types here I've used in the past. This is actually a set of optivisors, the brand optivisor, a prescription pair of glasses with uh, arm I purchased from my dentist which actually is really good but it was quite expensive and then just your standard pair of reading glasses so why don't we take a look at the reading glasses first again I'm going to do a comparison these are a 2.5 magnification so and they're going to run you a decent pair probably going to run you about between eight and ten dollars maybe twenty depending on what you buy the only option you get here is about about that that's about eight inches away from the tabletop and there's no variance, you can't get any closer, you can't get any further. And I, I really do only use these for readings. You can buy three or four sets of these to get different magnifications, but then you're looking at like $50, $60 in the end, or $40, so you might as well get the others for that price and have the option of having different vision possibilities. The next set will be my prescription glasses, so I can see fairly well through the prescription part, but then I bought this from my dentist a few years back, and it's just an arm, and I've jerry-rigged it to the top of the glass. Yes, science! Uh, with a screw, and I just used epoxy glue to glue it on. Works fine, it looks a little goofy, but it gets the job done when, when I have to get in there and do some close painting. So with the prescription, we'll take a look and see roughly what I see with just the prescription. Your focal length is probably about there, which for me is too far. I really can't see anything with just these glasses on for doing miniature work. And I'll put those in there. Get an idea of what we're seeing through the prescription. Focal length is probably about there, and I'm probably about six inches away from the camera, which is good, I can work decently with these glasses and make it work for me but the thing is this set here that I bought from my dentist which I probably should have looked around before I bought them because you probably can get something like that cheaper was probably about 50 or 60 dollars from what I can remember so you know expensive option they work but you know why spend that much when you don't have to our last set here is actually the Optivisor brand and they're very comfortable. I uh, I have no complaints about them. They work great. They've got a you know a soft headband at the top here. They, there's tightening screws on the side if you want to have this tighter and to, you know mount it in one place. It's got a band 
on the back here that just turn, turns like sort of like a construction helmet would. Uh, opens it up to the size of your head. Uh, again, it's very tough construction. This thing, unless you drive over it with your car, it's probably not going to break. And you can get them just as is with this kind of magnification here, or you could buy them with an extra loop, which will go over the eyepiece here and you can see things closer. The only problem is they get very hot, especially in the summer, and it's hard to get a brush in here when you're working that close. There is the regular focal length and I'm about probably 10 inches away from the tabletop there. I bring the loop down you know, I'm probably about two inches away from uh, the figure there. Probably if I was doing some sculpting and I had to do really tiny detail I'd switch to these. It's really hard to get a paintbrush in there in my in my experience anyway. Yeah there you go that's how the Optivisors work. Well, from what I saw online, you're looking at about $50 just for the Optivisor and another $20 for the loop. It's about $70, $70, $80, depending on where you buy it from. Again, quite expensive. So in my opinion, go for these. These will get you what you need and give you all the options you need with the lighting source and everything for around $40. 30 to 40 dollars. I think I got these on sale for 30 There's not really any brand name on it. It's just made in China. Uh, I will put a description or sorry, I'll put a link in the description below the video. And if you're interested, you can check it out and pick up a pair. I would highly recommend these magnifiers. So if you're looking for a pair and it's time to upgrade your goggles, I'd go for these personally. So there, that pretty much does the comparison and review video of the magnifiers I've just picked up. I hope you learned something in that video and hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment below. That's it for now. Hope you guys all have a great Christmas. I'll see you guys in the new year, if not sooner. Take care now. Bye-bye.